Well, it's the end of an era for this Edmonton Oilers season for the time being as James Hamlin has been sent down to the Bakersfield Condors to resume his AHL season following 10 games with the Edmonton Oilers. Folks, this is Dolany TV. Good afternoon as we get set to discuss the Oilers' latest roster moves today. It's my great pleasure to have you along. I'm Tyson as we get into the nitty-gritty of more Edmonton Oilers roster moves. Obviously, I did not mention it in the Matthias Ekholm Radko Gudis video earlier today, but the Oilers yesterday signed Justin Bailey and then immediately placed him on waivers for purpose of assignment to the Bakersfield Condors. Bailey has A, cleared waivers, and B, been assigned to the Bakersfield Condors, where he actually never left Baco, but... He just had to do a little bit of paper transactioning to get him officially as a member of the Edmonton Oilers organization and then secondarily as a member of the Bakersfield Condors on a, an assignment. So that's where we find ourselves today, my friends. But before we get too much into the nitty-gritty of what James Hamlin brought and didn't bring to the Edmonton Oilers, I'd like you to consider hitting that subscribe button here on the channel today. It'd be my great pleasure to have you along as we push forward to 10,000 subscribers. I say we simply because I can't do this without you, and I think we've built something pretty special here on Dolany TV, especially this season. All right, friends, so James Hamlin, what do we know in terms of a guy that has now been sent down to the AHL? He played 10 games for the Oilers so far this season. Uh, obviously, nil-nil in the goal column and assist column. Had 8 minutes and 52 seconds time on ice. A five foot nine, 116 or 169-pound player. That's kind of the newest thing that we have on him so I'm not sure if that's entirely accurate nowadays or not but that's where we're just kind of sitting and as it is right now um, for James Hamlin you know a guy who had positive shots for on the ice when he was out there he was a guy who was on the ice only for one goal in those 10 games but this one kind of what thing for the Oilers and a problem with the depth scoring is James Hamblin, when he was on the ice, the team shot 2.6%. So it's not even like the team was shooting a bunch of pucks and still scoring with him on the ice or anything. They just shot 2.6% of the time. So one goal and 2.5%. What is that? That's it's like 40 shots on the ice and they could only score on one of them. That's a pretty hard get, but for Hamlin too, an on-ice save percentage of 90% and a PDO of 920 in case anyone cares about that. And then you go as well, the offensive zone starts 62% for James Hamlin. And I believe he was out there earlier on on the penalty kill before some guys got back for the Oilers. So he's a guy who has kind of been out there on the ice for the Oilers, right? He had six minutes and six uh, 6 minutes and 36 seconds ice time on 10 games shorthanded. A guy who obviously didn't move the needle too much defensively on the penalty kill, but also didn't get scored on. He's got a perfect percentage on the penalty kill so far this year. So that's James Hamlin as he gets set to rock and roll ourselves a season here where he will resume things with the Bakersfield Condors. And does that mean he will, um, well, head down to uh, Calgary, I guess would be the question. Will we see James Hamblin live and in person for the Bakersfield Condors game tomorrow in Calgary? That's the question here to be asked, so that's where we get going. Now for Justin Bailey, I guess to just kind of clarify what he's got going on right now, Justin Bailey, he's doing a great little thing here for the Condors. He's leading them in points per game at even strength, That I believe .5 is what Jonathan Willis put out on Twitter today. So for Justin Bailey, one of those things right now where he's obviously leading that Condors team, whether it's because he's been there all season or he's been playing very well, that you can kind of debate. I know he had an injury early on that prevented him from be, being there all this time, but, uh, I mean, he was out there for a while now this season, and he's been starting to get it going for the Condors. And with dealing with Brad Malone up and down, James Hamlin over the lineup because he's up in the NHL, and various guys on the back end coming up and down in Broberg and Emeline, and... <clears throat> It just kind of is what it is, right? For the Condors, they've been 
victim to being a farm team of an NHL team with injuries. And that has, of course, been the Edmonton Oilers so far this season. So that's kind of where we find ourselves, friends, as we get going into this uh, later stages of this fine Saturday as we get towards about seven hours away from puck drop. I'm Tyson, this is Dolan ETV. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm up on Oda here.